So my dog is racist. How do you figure that? Well, he doesn't. He doesn't like black people. Based on is it TV? <laughs> is it TV? Is it people showing up nah, to the door? No, it's people on the at the door and in public on the street. He just starts. I don't know what it is, and I. I mean, we've had him for two years, and he hasn't really like stood out. Now, over the last month, he's got a problem. All right. So how does the dog? But he's not. It's not just black people. It's like anyone who's not white. So he's like, he's like part of the Aryan Brotherhood. He's what kind like, of dog is this? He's a, a Shih Tzu Terrier. Of course, this makes all the sense in the world. Considering, man, so your dog is racist. I don't have. I have a dog that doesn't like people who are slinking like in doorways and stuff. If you're just kind of leaning on something, she'll just freak out because yeah. you look suspicious. That's weird too. But at least that's less worse. Though. At least she doesn't discriminate. On who is slinking. That's true. If you're wearing a hoodie, she's like, what's with you? I'm very uh, embarrassed by it because I myself am not a racist. <laughs> and it conflicts with my personality. So how are you training this problem away? It's not like we, you can train it. Sure out. you can. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to get like... A Halloween costume? Some, some face paint? No, oh my God, that's terrible. This no, I would... <laughs> I would and find a black you, friend. You would find be, one first of all. I would find a black friend willing to do this. Right. So you throw them because I feel like car. not every black friend of mine would be like, "No, I'm not going to do this." All right. So you bring in one, and then like a you, willing participant. Uh huh. So you got to give this dog lots of treats around this, or you can just throw the treats to strangers. We're having, uh, we're having, uh, we want to do some construction in our house, and uh, we've been interviewing contractors. And you're hiring based on their race. No. Yeah, you and, are. Well, now you don't we want might, these dogs freaking now we out, might man. Be, no, that's terrible. <laughs> so, you know, they come in and like, you know, we're like, oh, this is our dog, Marty. And then one of them was a very nice black man. And Marty lost his shit. Like, I'm talking like, rawr, 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 and we've had to throw him in the, uh, the, the bathroom. Marty. <laughs> You didn't take the contractor. In the, I like you clarified Ariel, that. The, didn't, you talk, didn't we talk about something like this? Not with your dog? Um, my dog hates everybody. So oh, okay. At least your know. dog's like equal opportunity hate. You, yeah. It might be easier to train them to hate white people then. Because you have a couple. So like there's you. There's Stacy. Yeah. You can like train them to just bark at you. Guys. How? I never believed in the dogs are racist thing. Because that's a thing. You hear that. I've heard that about cameras. <laughs> that's stupid. You've never heard that? Yeah, I've heard it. <laughs> Uh, but the, yeah, he really, it's, it's freaking me out, man. I feel terrible. Cause like, we'll be walking down the street and it doesn't matter. You know, I don't, I don't even think he'd like you. That's fine. Yeah. Usually dogs like me though. So. I don't know, man. Do I show a fear of dogs? <laughs> I don't know what it is. This is okay. So when, so yeah, so I have to go ice it's skating. It's uncomfortable for me to talk about. When I go ice skating with you where I will fail and fall down. Cause if folks who don't know, we were talking about me not being able to skate. Yeah. Um, and so then bring your dog. So right. I can comically try to run away from a racist <laughs> dog on ice. Yeah. That'll be great. That'll be a good like little holiday episode. That's a Benny Hill sketch. <laughs> if you don't know who Benny Hill is, contact your local Wikipedia. I has pulled up a, a picture of uh, your dog right here. There he is. It's Marty. Aww. Hey, Marty. <laughs> you are such Marty. a sweetie, Marty. <laughs> that does look like him. That does look exactly like it's him. It's the reverse cone of shame. I <laughs> thought his. I thought he just wore that hat. Because he's festive, but no, <laughs> he's in the KKK. You're just waiting for a party to break out. You know, if that were the case and Marty was a member of the KKK, I probably, he probably wouldn't like me or my wife either because we're Jewish. Right. So he'd be like, ah. He might be secretly plotting, man. I'm telling you, dude, we're going to come home one day. <laughs> it's going to be game over. <laughs> All right. Racist canines aside, it's Monday, October 27th. Let's start the show. <laughs> Thanks for that intro, Jerry. Appreciate You're it. The construction guy. It's over there. I heard it's over there. If you didn't hear that, turn it up, dude. It's all good, man. Because we're rounding third. We've Very... got the signal to come home. Because I think we're caught in a rundown, man. I don't know. Nope. Nope. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. There's gonna. How about this? There's gonna be a play at the plate. Yeah. I think okay. So, so uh, a lot of good things happening. The studio, from what I've seen, it's 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 very uh, incomplete at the moment. But it's 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 turning a corner, and it's close to being done. I was told Halloween's the last day construction guys are in the office. I'll believe that when I see it. 
Uh, so good news is incoming, and we're almost out of the woods. Uh, so I have a lot of uh, contests to debut today before we get into the stories. Okay, sounds okay. good. Okay. Like, uh, we had to do the racist dog first, but now we're going to do contests. If you're still listening, there's, there's a still, prize. You were turned off by my racist dog. Man, I'm not, I'm not happy about it. He met Justin. He was okay with Justin. Well, this might just be a skin tone issue. Though. I think it's a skin tone issue. <laughs> I need to get out of this. It's sun. weird. It's really weird. Okay, so we, we teased this for, I don't know, however long, but it's finally happening. The Back to the Future Flux Capacitor USB Car Charger giveaway is happening. We're giving away four of these. Go to cnet.com slash 404-BTTF. Easy enough. Back, and that stands for Back to the Future. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. cnet.com yeah. slash 404 uh, BTTF. I think all you have to do is follow the show on Twitter and then use a hashtag. Uh, some, it's something. You'll look at the rules. I think it's like hashtag 404 with BTTF. Hashtag BTTF with 404. Does that work already? That's, I'm just looking at the site. Okay. I didn't know I don't have the, the uh, other URL. I've got the long one. Oh, the but long yeah. one. Okay. So if, if you wanted to see what took so long, take a look at all the boilerplate beforehand. No purchase necessary. Well, yeah, that's Twitter why it took so long because they had to get like uh, an orangutan to write that. This Tuesday is not thing. sponsored, endorsed, administered by Twitter. Data rates when it may apply when participating. See section four for details. There's just a lot of le- <laughs> legalese so that needs to be disclosed. The, the actual rules, okay, are in step four. Yeah, how okay. to get in? So well, well, I'll summarize that in 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 the in the actual yeah, link you're you gonna go. go to. So don't worry, you're not gonna have to read all that. I mean, you should. You should. If you should, you're the lawyer. You, you should. should. But ah. Uh, you know what's cool about these things? They have uh, two charging ports, one for one amp and one for 2.1 so amp. They can charge a tablet. I know yeah. tablets are dumb in cars, but as GPS is a pretty cool. Yeah. So that's really rad. And the flux capacitor lights up. You, you can't find this in stores, man. I think you can, actually. Anyway, uh, if you want to buy it, if you do want to buy it, you go to a Think Geek, and we want to extend a hearty thank you to our friends at Think Geek for supplying. Uh, the wares for this amazing contest we're doing. So that's the contest that starts today. You could, by the time you're hearing this, you're probably good to go, and you could start submitting. Uh, I think what are the dates? I think it's going to go a week or two weeks. Are we really going to have two weeks? October 27th at 12:01 p.m. PT, and ends yeah. on 11:59 59, 59 p.m. PT on November 7th. Okay, so yeah, it is two weeks. The sweepstakes period. All right, so it's two weeks. You have a chance to win one of these things, uh, and then you have two weeks, I believe, to win a little a little larger prize. Oh, wait, what are you looking at? I'm just looking at the actual rules. You got to tweet a futuristic gadget you wish you could have, right? With the hashtag BTTF with 404, right? That's how you can enter that. Sorry, go ahead. That, oh, that's good. Say that again. What was the hashtag? Okay, it's going to be the hashtag BTTF with 404. Okay, and again, we'll put this on the show notes. You tweet com slash 404. Tweet a futuristic gadget you wish you could have along with that hashtag. Right. There you go. Easy enough. Pretty it's simple. So easy. Okay. Then starting Tuesday, October 28th, we're doing another promotion uh, in partnership with our friends at Microsoft. Ah, look at this. Ooh, it's a box with a cinder block in it. Look at that. <laughs> it's an Xbox One Sunset Overdrive bundle. That's freaking insane. Wow. How great is this? We're giving this? that away? We're giving this away. I did have to open it to take a photo of it, but it is brand new. He's <laughs> only played it for 35 hours. It's, it's called it's uh, brand- Burning It In. It's brand. It's called burn. It's called. Yeah, you wanna. You really wanna. You know, test that hard drive for. Yeah. Uh, for like, like you for know, defect. like you got headphones. No, no. I'm just no, just I didn't play around. this at all. It is brand new. Um, it, uh, it retails for four hundred dollars, but they're doing fifty dollars off uh, starting, I believe, November second. Mm-hmm. So if you don't win this thing, you can go buy it for three hundred and fifty dollars, which is pretty great too. I reviewed Sunset Overdrive this morning. The review came out. I loved it. I loved it, and that's not me saying that because they're giving us a free one. Because you I would, would trash it if it was garbage. I, if it right? was bad, it, it'd be uh, it'd be trash. But look across the board, everyone's loving it. It's a great game, and my uh, editorial opinion is that this is a great deal. Well, yeah, get it if you had to buy it, but you can if get I had it to buy for free. It. The better deal is submitting an entry by going to cnet.com slash four zero four Xbox One. That's not up either. Don't even bother putting that in the old you URL. Spell out, you spell out one? You spell out O-N-E. one. O-N-E. You don't spell out the 404? No. I'm it's getting a 404. 404. <laughs> uh, That's what I'm getting Xbox right now. Xbox One. It'll be live soon. 
It's going to be, uh, this will go live tomorrow, so you can't enter yet. But this is way easier to enter. All you got to do is um, just sort of like submit a form and you're in. We want to like break records with this thing. Awesome. So let's do it. So we're giving this away. Thanks to Microsoft for hooking it up with the giveaway. And uh, that's all I got. So it's a white Xbox. Overdrive. It's oh, yeah, it's white. Marty will love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only one allowed in your house. <laughs> That's it. It's like, okay, get rid of that TurboGrafx-16. I want a PC engine in here. Marty's I want a Nintendo. I want a Nintendo Wii and an Xbox it's One white. Crazy man. <laughs> Last night I thought I was the the look on this fresh direct delivery. I thought I was going. I felt so bad for him. I was like, dude, I'm sorry. My dog's an asshole. It's true. So you didn't mention that he was a racist. You just said he's an asshole. Yeah. Uh, he like wanted uh, out bad. Well, clearly, I mean, you're you're showing him that lying is okay. You should not be teaching your dog lying is uh, okay. It was crazy because one uh, and it, we had a walker come once. We had like a thing, like a, a pack. You know, like a pack walk. You know what that is? <laughs> I do. And uh, one of the one of the walkers, was like, I, he's like, I've seen that before. That's a shattered pest. But that dog, we don't know his story. You know. He's a rescue. But wait, this hasn't happened before. It's just no, sparked up lately. Something, 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 something recently something happened. Some triggered. Did, do you have like Halloween decorations that just pop up and scare no, the hell out of no, dogs no, or anything? No, no. I don't want to make the show just about the racist dog. I wanted to make uh, it mostly about these two awesome giveaways. I'm trying to do more, man, because uh, I would really love for our listeners to get some free stuff because I think it's pretty badass. There's like a, there's a there's a Call of Duty bundle coming out in a few weeks. Awesome. So I'm gonna try and do that too if we can, but. Definitely enter to win the Back to the Future Charger and also the Sunset Overdrive Xbox One bundle. All right. I think that's all the housekeeping we have to do for now. Okay. Is the show over? I think, it's, I think we've hit about four <laughs> hours now. Right? Uh, no. Guess what? We actually have a clickbait worth clicking and baiting. Hit it. Oh, my God. It's happening. Ariel had to Been dust the cobwebs yeah, off almost, that, almost that forgot. little clip there. Yeah, you should have seen um, the flashlight leading up <laughs> file directories. You're like, okay, it's a, you don't need a flashlight, Ariel. <laughs> uh, all right. We finally have the phone charging cable we've all been waiting for. This is the most popular story on CNET in the last 24 hours. I is Akhtar. What the hell is it? Okay, so it's a 10-foot cable. It's called the night cable. It's got a fabric... Uh, I guess outer covering, right? Case. Looks like a cat's toy. Yeah, so it's got this like nylon ball over here. And the idea is that it's kind of like it's a weight. So you can put this cable on your nightstand or you can put it in your lap or whatever. It's not going to fall oh, away. This, this is kind of brilliant. Yeah, it is kind of brilliant. But the thing is, it costs 40 bucks. Oh. Okay, so the thing is, like, yeah, it got, it's got a good headline and it's an actual real product and everything. But the thing is, people are going crazy over this thing for the past like week. They have been reading this story over and over and over again. And we're all like, just, dude, we can't figure out exactly why. Is this really that big of a freaking problem? I think problem? It's, it's psychological. Explain it that. I think people see this picture and they're like, what the hell is this? You know, and they're, they're like, is this a cat toy? Is it, what, you know, what is it? Look at it. And they, right? Look at it. As it invades your face. I think people are genuinely fascinated with things that seem simple, but, you know, for whatever reason. I mean, everyone is constantly looking for a charger, right? This is true. It's the one thing universally across the board everyone can relate to. Do you have a charger? Do you have a charger for 5S? Or do you have an Android charger? You know? So people can relate to this. And obviously, this works both ways, right? You can have it for Android yeah, or Yeah, there's a Lightning one. I believe there's a micro Lightning. USB one. Yeah. yeah. And the Windows devices, the micro USB ones are available only in the Zebra pattern. It's oh. but 40 Freaking bucks. Oh, yeah, that's too much money. That's what I can't quite wrap my head around. And the honeymoon's going to be over for this company very soon because the second, you know, one of the uh, major manufacturers just is like, okay, why aren't we just going to do this ourselves? Yeah, the idea. And include it in the box. Figuring out how to attach a cat toy to your cable so it doesn't fall off. Like, this so, is. So that's just weighted? How come it doesn't look like a hockey puck where, like, it wouldn't potentially roll away? Oh, well, it, it's already, it is weighted. That's the thing. So right. It's not going to roll away. I think part of it's flat. And the other th way it works is it's just going to oh, sit you can, there. and you can move the ball yeah. up and down the wire. That's this, sick. That's, this thing is just sick. This is I mean, amazing. look how that ball just sits in his lap. Look at, the, the, it's fabric covered. The idea is that it doesn't fall off your nights. Like, it, you can't solve this with any other thing, like a binder clip. There's like a million life hacks about this stupid yeah. thing. Yeah. 
to spend forty dollars just for that purpose. I mean, it's not it's not serving any other function. How annoyed would you have to be to spend forty bucks on this? Ariel, you could never get this annoyed because you just don't get <laughs> annoyed. <laughs> Yeah, he would gladly just know. reach behind the dresser like, over and over like, and over. Exercise, yeah. I'm stretching. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's I'm it. fine with what I have. Yeah, I I don't know. It's strange to me that forty bucks is crazy. You make you make this nineteen ninety nine. I mean, props to these guys for not actually doing an infomercial style video. Where somebody's like, oh, I keep dropping my phone and cable. Right. <laughs> they do have this guy searching for it right now. You can see he's like, oh, I'm got it. I'm gonna hold it with the book, and oh, I could just have this other device. Let me show the guy having trouble. Here we go. It's like, <laughs> Oh, that's that, how I hold it. That seemed to be to work fine, though. Yeah, you can get one of these old school dead tree books, which cost less than thirty nine ninety nine. Maybe it's that expensive because they have to like license out that interface, the lightning cable. Yeah, but probably. they don't have to do it for Android. Yeah, that's and why don't they just sell that attachment that can attach onto a wire? What the hell are we doing here? People? I think you're adding to convenience. You uh, so that's the story. Stupid. People freaking love it. That's the bait. There you go. You're taking it. All right. Thanks for that clickbait. Uh, NFC is uh, enduring some controversy. Now that Apple Pay uh, has shed light on the technology, people all of a sudden give a crap about it again. <laughs> yeah. So what's going on? Yeah, so there's a bunch of retailers right now. Uh, they're all working together on their own standard called Current C, like currency, get it? Yep. And it links into your, uh, your actual checking account. And so what they're doing is they're turning off NFC payments at their stores. So you can't use... Just in time for Apple Pay and Google Wallet not to work anymore. Seriously, yeah. So last week, Apple Pay goes live on Monday. And this stuff starts breaking out like on Tuesday, Wednesday. This news starts coming. How out. does how, tables need to be flipped over this? It's like okay, so why would you just do this now? It's like everyone's excited about it. If you get them used to paying that way, why not just teach them that way? But yeah, there's, there's a huge list. It was all over Reddit right now uh, on the technology section. People are calling for boycotts cots of these places. There's a huge list. I'm gonna try to find it for us uh, where that is. But so so wait now, some of these retailers are the are the ones that Apple sort of promoted as working with Apple Pay? Uh, I don't know if it's on their full list. I'm going to have to find that. What I, I, I understand the business uh, thinking behind this. Let's sort of uh, create our own proprietary um, you know, wireless payment service. Is mm -hmm. that the thinking behind it's that? It's proprietary. So they're like, oh, you can use theirs. So you can use it at Gap, Old Navy, 7-Eleven. These are the places that won't take Apple Pay. And are turn the other thing is that the fact that turning off NFC is just dumb. Like it's on the systems. Like right. they're on the payments. They're they're in that little device. Yeah, it's on the box. Like what you the know hell it's there. What are we doing? Bed Bath Me on Stop and Shop, Banana Republic. Oh, it's all the same company right there with uh, Bed, uh, Banana Republic, Gap, and Old Navy, Seven Eleven, Wendy's. This is like, what the? No one's gonna boycott these stores because of this. That's the problem, though. So you got to come up with a different way to attack. No one's going to do this. And even I don't care how popular this Reddit thread gets. It's not going to change a thing. You think Reddit can't change the world? No, Reddit can do stuff that, that people are overly inconvenienced by. 2,864 upvotes at Reddit. Yeah, on this okay. One. That's not a big deal. No, really. I mean, like, they can help They helped stop SOPA, <laughs> right? Okay, they that helped, was kind of a big freak. That was deal. a big deal. They, they I think uh, Reddit had a big part in net neutrality or the last go at it. But this stuff, I don't know. But I just think it's I mean, really stupid. Their timing. heart's in the right place, that's for sure. Anyway, uh, so this, this morning I was reading headlines and I saw something called an Amazon Fire Stick. And then I'm like, what the hell's an Amazon Fire Stick? What is a Fire Stick? Is that new? It's brand new, yeah. Amazon just came out with a, a new version of a set-top box. They have the Amazon Fire TV. And now they have the streaming stick. Roku's got a streaming stick. There's the Chromecast. You know, these little devices that plug right into your TV. And it's 40 bucks. But the deal is right now, if there's a two-day deal, if you're a Prime member, you get it for 20 bucks. And the weird thing they've done with this is they, you know how the big ad with, with Gary Busey was about talking to the Fire yeah. TV? Okay, so the remote does not have voice control. Okay. You have to pay 30 bucks for that remote if you want it separately. So you, without this discount, you would have to pay $70. That's right. Or you just get their box for, or you just for another twenty mm -hmm. get the Fire TV. So they they've kind of unbundled the cool part of the Amazon Fire TV. Was that really the cool part? If Gary Busey's doing the freaking ad, and that's all. Hello, pants. I mean, that freaking worked. Tell me you weren't talking to your pants. I just didn't. Care. I just don't care about these boxes. I don't care. Do you about, care about these sticks? I don't care about any of that. No, I just don't. What do you watch? How do you watch stuff? So I have a computer hooked up to my t to my TV, and that's like done. I call it a day. There you go. I don't. And when I travel, I mean, I bring a laptop. I just I'm not inconvenienced by hooking up an HDMI cord for my laptop to the TV. And to me, no stick or box will ever 
beat that. I think you're like a nightmare for for these marketers there, man. You're like, screw the night cable. It's screw just, this I mean, I, I, I get it, but like even when you go to a... So you go on vacation, you're in a hotel, this thing's worthless for the most part because the hotel Wi-Fi is all janky and it mm-hmm. won't let you do it. I mean, what other situation do you need to have this little stick? I, I mean, I get it. Like, if I, you know, if I didn't have a laptop and, an HD, and a readily accessible HDMI cable, yeah, I wouldn't do it. I just don't get why it's not free at this point. If it's 19 bucks for Prime members, right? they're charging you 100 bucks a year. Just give this crap away. Yeah, you people would charge something. For well, people would actually just buy more of their like Concept. Amazon stuff, right? Yeah. You think about that. You're like, oh, well, I'll continue to watch Amazon Instant Prime Video or whatever else. So you consume. consume Can you consume. shop through uh, like the Fire way you TV? could on the uh, in the Amazon store? Could you just shop? I don't know. I feel like people would love to shop. No, you can on shop on on their actual on their tablets and stuff. I don't think I don't know if you can shop on the on the TV boxes. I'm surprised that's not worked into like all the Amazon devices. I guess you could buy videos through it. Yeah, that's not what I mean. I'm but talking like about like items? I want to buy like a roll of toilet paper and a shirt. I don't know if that's an option. This is how little interest I've had in this box mm. that I don't actually know that. Usually I'm on top of this stuff. But that's what I'm saying. Like I just don't know who these things are for anymore because odds are your TV, even though it's all shoddy and configured like that. It, you, your TV connects to the internet or your game console connects to the internet or, you know, you have something else, right? Yeah, I'm just looking at the... Uh, you have something. That's con- you have something already. This thing says here, like, if you don't want to use the... If you don't want to buy the remote, you can get the app. And so you could you can talk to it. And in the ad, they have the Amazon Fire Phone, which... I've only seen once in the wild. You ever seen the Fire Phone in the wild? No, I haven't seen anyone had it. I mean, they're sitting on $83 million worth of Fire Phones at Yeah, Amazon. so there it is. Because, you know, this is the phone you have, clearly. That's how many people have not bought a Fire Phone. They couldn't give it away. They're giving away for 99 cents. They couldn't do it. it no one wants it. Yeah. It's an impossible market to break into. Well, that's the thing with this, these set-top boxes and their stick. It's like, what's the No, No, I think they'll sell some of the sticks also because it's only 40 bucks, only 20 bucks. Yeah, but why get it? Like, like it's all this stuff is on every other box. Yeah, I know. I'm you get an Xbox One over there. I don't get. You get it. Amazon Instant built in. So yeah. what, what the hell? I don't is get it. Twenty. I don't think these boxes are very long for this world. You don't think so? No. That's where they're going to sticks. Sticks are the future. It's all about sticks. Baby. Sticks. Uh, finally, we'll uh, we'll keep things uh, in theme with the week of Halloween. What is this story about? Putting candy inside your fridge's ice cube maker. That's the whole story. Because I've done stuff like this before. Were you high? Uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this so. is a good idea. I don't think so. Now this thing was big over the weekend. Uh, th- there's this guy who basically cleared out his ice maker. He put in candy. What kind of candy? Like little miniature uh, M&M, M&M's, miniature Reese's. Let's see. Let's okay. See going. So he, he put, put it, it in, in the, the ice cube Sort of dispenser. Right. So the idea you can put a cup by the dispenser and it'll just spit out candy. candy. And this just blew up. I have no freaking idea. Well, the reason it's brilliant is because that's the best way to enjoy candy is frozen and cold. Agreed. So uh, he's doing it the right way. He's not filming himself the right way, but he's certainly putting the right kind of candy in there. But wouldn't it like crush it up a little bit? He does try out the crushed mode, but here's, oh, here's no, how it works. I wouldn't do that. Because people were asking him. So here it goes. You can see it actually filling up a glass, and it doesn't destroy anything. This is the regular mode. Right. Regular mode is safe. Yeah, because it's just going to dispense what's there. Right. And so here he is showing this portrait video, which we all love, because he's in portrait video. <laughs> right. And then he's like, there it goes. Want, want, an, want a glass of ice water? You're out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, this screams bachelor, but here we go in the second it video. Bachelor. Oh, here you go. He's from the future now. He, he wise. He wised up. Horizontally filmed video. And I will allow this YouTube like every freaking time. I what? Know. What's what? like exit or allow full screen? It's like yeah. Wh- I, I hit the button. Yeah, I hit a very benign. It's button. a small freaking button. Like yeah. I had to go out of my way to hit this. All right. So this new video. What is he saying? All right. He's like people have been asking me to see to see what the crushed uh, version would look like. So right. We're gonna so do I it. decided to break my refrigerator. <laughs> Seriously, he hits the crush button right now. Yeah. And he's gonna show us. He's very excited. Right. Keep moving. Yeah. I hate there him. There we go. He's got his. I don't uh, know him, but I hate him. All right. Here comes the what crushed. Happens? It's coming out. Oh my god! We it's got crushed candy coming ice out. Is actually coming. It's out. candy crush. That's kind of cool. Pretty much it. 
And he ruined his refrigerator in the process. Yeah, you know, I think it makes sense when it's water because, I mean, when it's ice because the water melts, but like there's going to be chocolate and crap in those like, like aluminum wrappers and stuff. <laughs> right, that's what I'm <laughs> yeah. what did, did you think that one through, Bob? <laughs> he says that, he goes, well, I think this would be great. Like, is that ice cream topping or something? Oh. I don't think that was the design. We should not be rewarding this. <laughs> We're rewarding it, and we should not be. Yeah, so don't break your ice makers, the See point. See how quickly I can do a 180 on someone? <laughs> it happens, man. Miniature Reese's, M&M's, and Starbursts. Oh, I wouldn't want Starbursts with that. You've got chocolate in there. Yeah, you're not supposed to mix the sugary with the chocolate. If you chocolate. want to screw somebody, just you know, put in the Skittles with the M&M's, and you're just going to be pissed. Oh, that's, that's the worst thing <laughs> that's you can evil. do to somebody. That is freaking evil. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah. Uh, all right. That's it for us this week. Oh, sorry, this day. This week. Well, we're done. I don't hey! Know. <laughs> week's Friday. I don't know how the rest of the week's going to play out, mm -hmm. so we'll have to, again, play it by ear. But uh, we try and give you three shows a week, and uh, obviously we'll be here on Halloween. I think that's a mm -hmm. given. And but, costume. Uh, the middle parts, we'll, we'll have to play that by ear. 866-404-CNET. Uh, that's the phone number. Shoot us a voicemail. You can email us, the404 at cnet.com. That works as well. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to the subreddit. Don't forget your chance to win one of four Back to the Future USB chargers, the Flux Capacitor chargers. Just go to cnet.com slash 404BTTF and enter on Twitter to win. And then starting Tuesday, we're going to open up entries for the 404 Sunset Overdrive Xbox One bundle. And uh, we'll tweet about that. And I believe the URL for that is cnet.com slash 404 Xbox One. Does that work? I doubt it. It's not, and I'm saying, does that work for you, like uh, in spirit? Oh, it, not like physically on the internet. Sure, it works in spirit. Also, oh. send out uh, some videos to us. Video voicemails oh, would be right. awesome, man. Yeah, we were talking about that before. We Let's do that again. Video voicemails. Let's bring it back. Don't be shy. And yeah, and shoot it in Lance, in, in, in portrait. What the hell? <laughs> Let's be horrible Look, this week. Beggars can't be choosers. I'll take it any way I can get it. If you're gonna I'm not be a, that one. if you're gonna be a, <laughs> if you're gonna be a dick and want to shoot it in portrait mode, be my guest. Drone videos only. <laughs> yeah, seriously. use a drone. <laughs> Make sure yeah, it's flying above. It's like I have an opinion. <laughs> if somebody were able to like fly it in perfectly and then talk to the drone, I would That'd be, be impressed. Awesome. That'd be awesome, and yeah. we would play the crap out of that. Okay, every day. All right, you have your orders. You can do a private, uh, unlisted listing on um, YouTube. On YouTube, and send us the link. Until next time, I'm Jeff Bacalar. I'm Maya Zaktar. I'm Ariel Nunez. This is the 404 Show High Tech Low Brow. Have a great Monday. We'll see you next time.